In this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows Server 2008 R2 onto a Dell PowerEdge R720 with on a RAID array. Okay, control R to go into the RAID controller. We'll set up a new array, RAID 6. We'll grab all these drives for this example. And I'll just do a fast init on it. Okay, we're done. Escape out, reboot. Hit F10 to go into the lifecycle controller. I'm going to ignore this battery warning for now. It's been in storage for a while. Okay, escape out of the settings screen. We're now in the lifecycle controller. Go to the firmware update. Launch firmware update. We'll get it from Dell's FTP site. Hit next. Configure the network. I'll do DHCP. I have my network cable plugged into port one. Save my changes. Let it get the IP address for your local network. It got it. Now continue on with the FTP server. Next, ftp.dell.com. Next. Let it wait. Let it uh, get that data from the website or the FTP site. Okay, what you want to do is uh, uncheck all the updates available. I mean, you can do the updates if you want. The main thing we're wanting to get here is that driver OS drivers pack. Apply it. Let it download and do the update. Now passing through the five minute mark. Okay, completed at about five and a half minutes. And what you want to do is go back into firmware update, launch firmware update, back to the FTP site next. And we want to just verify that the update had completed properly. Okay, and we can see here that 15.07.07 matches what's on the website, so we know we're up to date and have loaded it. Next, you're going to go to OS Deployment, Deploy OS. It's reading the hard drives. 
we want to ch change this to go directly to OS deployment. Unless you, uh, you know, I already configured the RAID first part of this video, but if you wanted to change your configuration, you could also do that here. For my this video, I'm going to go directly to OS deployment next. And I'm going to do 2008 R2 next. And I believe this takes about three or four minutes. I'll pause it. Okay, next the uh, default is typically BIOS mode, but I believe we have to do UFI. Uh, in this exact scenario, if you notice the RAID controller was, I configured eight two terabyte drives, so that math is about 11 terabytes. So um, I think, I'm not sure where the actual limit is, something around two, two or four terabytes that you can, the OS will recognize in BIOS mode. So in this scenario, you do have to use UFI. Next. And media right here. I'm going to install that. Let that spin up. Next. Click fin keep the media in the system. Click finish to continue. Okay, system is restarting. I'll pause the video. Hit a key. We'll do next, install now. Full installation, hit next. Custom. We'll install it all on that one partition just for this example.
Okay, we're installed. Create a password. 